Today we rely on plastics to make all sorts of objects. But the raw material for all these plastics started life millions of years ago. They're made from crude oil. Before it can be used in the plastics industry, it has to be processed. A key reaction that happens at the refinery is called cracking. Cracking is where long chain molecules in the oil are broken down into shorter ones. To get an idea of what's happening in these towers, we can crack a fraction of crude oil in the lab. This is liquid paraffin. It's just one of the chemicals refined from oil. Paraffin molecules are chains of 20 or more carbon atoms, joined together by single bonds. Hydrogen atoms are attached to each carbon atom. Molecules like this are known as alkanes. All the carbons are joined by single bonds. To crack the paraffin, a small amount is dropped onto a piece of glass wool. It's heated in the presence of a ceramic catalyst. To begin with, heat causes air inside the apparatus to expand, so the air bubbles out. After a few minutes, the paraffin is heated and it starts to decompose. The product is a colourless gas and it's collected over water. Each paraffin molecule has now been cracked or broken down into two shorter chains. One of them contains a carbon-carbon double bond. This type of molecule is called an alkene. Once a full tube of gas has been collected, it's sealed, ready for testing. Bromine water is used to show that an alkene is now present. If the gas in the tube contains molecules with double bonds, the bromine reacts and loses its colour. Molecules containing double bonds are the basic building blocks for a group of plastics known as polymers.